Hello everyone, welcome to Railbound. Railbound. This came out on Steam about a month ago. It looks like some indie puzzle game uh, themed around railroads. I looked at the Steam store page and I couldn't really understand from the pictures what any of the mechanics were, so I'm coming to this pretty brand new. Let's just start on 1-1 one, one here. What do I do? Yes. I drag this together. I assume space does that. Okay. So I don't know yet why that was the answer, what, how things behave. Yeah, okay, like draw, draw a path from like A to B, that's fine. I get that. I feel like we could probably have skipped these levels, but you know, whatever. Okay, so this, I see. So it, I get that like you want I, I understand why this needs to face this way. What I don't understand is how we know which way we're going to go at this junction. Do we go forward or do we go right? We go right. Why? And if I do this, it's going to leave, right? And be sad. So, okay. We'll figure out how these things work later, I guess. Uh, okay. I guess that's one way to do it. This would be... Oh, they don't give me a toggle that goes the right way over here. Okay. So these are... Are these, like, fixed? There has to be rail here. I don't get to put it down, but you get to choose which way it's pointing? I see. Hang on. Okay, so I have a fixed supply of rails, and these were on the ground for me to pick up. Okay. Sure. Same thing again. Okay, now there's a one and a two. And they're forcing the one to arrive quickly. So I assume the lesson here is that you have to get the one and then the two in that order. Okay, so now we're making our own junction here. We could cause a collision, that'll be fun. Oh no, they don't mind too much. I have four tracks. Also, yeah, okay, these are just signs for put down and pick up. So, I have to get the one to go in for, oh, I see. This I can't modify even to put a junction in it. So it has to go like that. And I want the two to arrive later, so I'll send it the slow way. Five rails? That seems like enough to do the obvious thing, right? Unlocked 111A, a harder version of that puzzle or something? Okay, well, this wants to go straight, and I guess this wants to get in later? Yeah, that'll be behind. 112A. So we're unlocking alternate puzzles or something, I don't know. Is this not enough? Doesn't this just win? Ah, no, I see. Because you can't have a T-junction that points both ways. I see. So we have to do this instead. Okay, not really much choice there. Had to get number two turned around somehow, and luckily they gave us just enough rails, how nice. 
Oh, there, there was a picture of this one on the store page. Okay. I have eight. That's enough to completely fill this area. So let's send that in, I guess. And I could put a junction there if I wanted, right? Yeah, okay. Um, number two wants to join in next, I guess. And then number three? Seems easy enough. Oh, it's a cartoon. Okay. Yes. I just get this one picture and no story to go with it, and I'm supposed to hit escape, I guess. Okay. So then there's all these alternate puzzles over here, huh? If I did 111A, it would be a harder version of 111, I guess. Maybe a real puzzle? Now, reminder, I can't do that. Yeah, that's not, doesn't connect. So we need at least this. That's mandatory. We don't necessarily have to have a rail going like that. It could go this way, and then you could get in like that, right? I, wait, hang on. Do you actually... So it is possible to do this without a junction, although I don't know if I need to. So it sort of makes sense to have one connect up there as quickly as possible, and then like that, right? Now one's going the wrong way, and so is three. That's kind of cool. Hmm. This is going to connect up wrong. I mean, we don't have proof that this is even the right way to get there, for one, right? I mean, maybe it goes like that? I think that takes up more rail, though, right? Like, it needs this space, which we didn't need for the other route. I don't see any compelling reason why this is better, so let's put it back the obvious way. Well, I guess there is a reason, right? I don't know if it's sufficient, but... It means that I could do that and have two get there later. But I'm a tiny bit of rail short. If I had one more, I could do this. Okay, our first real puzzle. I don't mean to say necessarily that it's this super hard puzzle, but it's the first one that isn't totally obvious. And connecting the two up the other way is just crazy, right? For multiple reasons. First of all, it doesn't save us any tracks. And second, it means the three gets there before the two, all of which is bad. Okay, so maybe I was wrong and you can do this? Of course you can. But then you can't get the three here on the right schedule. Right, you can do that. That's no good. This way works, but we're missing even more track to finish it off. All right, I'm gonna leave this one for a minute. Let's go see what's up with, uh, maybe the B puzzles are too hard for me. Check out 12A. Oh, I have very few tracks. Oh, I see. Cute. Let's 
seems done. So, there must be multiple solutions to this puzzle because it's symmetrical about this axis. But presumably there's only one interesting solution and the other is just a reflection of it. I guess I can't presume that. So it almost looks like we have to do this. And then these fill in, but then this is a disaster, right? Hmm, hang on, not quite, because can't we have... Ah, uh, no, we can't. This is going to go the wrong way. So, I mean, it seems mandatory that we have at least this much, right? There's no choice about it. And I think we need one here as well. I note that I have seven tracks left, which is exactly enough for all of these spaces. Which is good, because it seems like we need a way for three and two to both get in behind one. So, something like that, right? But now I only have two. Right, I said all of these spaces, which is true, but this has to connect up somehow, doesn't it? Maybe not. Maybe you can do that? No, because then we're just stuck on a loop. Right? All right, I have to watch the loop for a bit. Yeah, look at that, they're all in order. They just can't leave. Okay. So, is it necessarily the case that we need, like, a loop somewhere? I don't think in general that's true if you have to reorder things. Because you could imagine, if we had enough rails and they gave us unlimited space, we could just have three do a big long loop-de-loop -loop before joining up on the track behind two, which does a big long loop-de-loop before joining in behind one. There doesn't have to be any... There has to be a track that one takes to the exit, right? That That's like a given. Now, maybe that track goes like that, maybe it doesn't, but there has to be something. And then we have to have join points on that track Four, two, and three. What does this do? They crash. Also too dumb for this. All right, you know what? Let's leave these uh, A puzzles until I've learned whatever they're teaching me in two. I assume I don't need that mechanic to solve those puzzles, but uh, it might give me more time to absorb the basics of how trains move around. So we have little teleporting tunnels. Well, if there are two tunnels on a level, how do I know what's connected to what? Oh, right, I can't make junctions there. I have to come out through here. Mm, sure, this seems easy enough. Assuming I can line up the rails. 
I get it. We have tunnels. I don't know. I complained about the puzzles being too easy, but then when they give me a hard one, I give up. Uh, okay, the, color, the, puzzle, the, the tunnels are color-coded. Sure, that makes sense. Hey. There we go. Guess we just do a little jog there, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing here. Oh, of course, just connect up and go like that. So this, this whole level doesn't really need tunnels in a sense. Well, okay, I guess the tunnels are changing the topology a little bit. But the point is, you just have to enter here in order, the same as you would normally have to get to the goal space in order. The tunnels are just allowing them to do that without taking up as much horizontal space in, in the puzzle area and shoving the waiting area down here, I guess. Um, okay, well... Is the same as we've been doing in every other puzzle, basically. Am I allowed to connect those up? I am. Okay. Do I want to do that? Unclear. Probably. Yeah. Looks like we're supposed to do this. Another picture of a train. They look happier this time. They're not lost. And that was area two? Okay, I'm leaving the A puzzles for now. Teach me new mechanics. Oh, okay, that's interesting. That's a switch, or that that's a lever. I don't know, this is a, a blocker and this is the switch that controls it. So we get timing puzzles finally. Yeah, look at that, okay. Well, I guess they've all been timing puzzles, but. Oh, wait, I can't do that. Um, there we go. So we have to come out like this. And we can't just get behind two, because then we'll lose, won't we? Because two will have to get to wherever it's going before one does. Actually, what happens now? Does that... Does this shut again, or...? Oh, whoops, we haven't even talked to this thing. Yeah, that's true. Okay, that's another reason we can't do that. Uh, what the heck? I can't do anything here. There's no way onto this. Oh, maybe there is. Right? Uh, cute. All right, I like that puzzle. Just do a quick U-turn, head back into the station. Ah, each click toggles it, got it. Hmm, why do I need two of these? Can't I just like... I mean, I could do this. And yeah, so I don't need to, clearly. I only need to go over, I want to go over it exactly once or maybe three times. Maybe that's why I need to. Go over one of them once and the other one twice. That actually makes sense because this is the best way to join up one and two without wasting a bunch of track. 
Did this not work? This looks good. But I saved two tracks. Something must be wrong. Oh, ah! I see. Can't do this. I keep forgetting that you can't have both of them go that. You can't enter a T-junction from the ends of the T. From both ends. And anyway, that would have been going over it four times, you dummy. So one, two, three. So what is the point of this? I guess, okay, the point is that these two are gonna close now and we need this button to like, and actually I don't see the point of this. I guess it delays two by a tick from taking off that I have to step on this to let it go. All right. They could have just started it over here and deleted this and I think it would have been the same puzzle, but sure. So we could just go this way, and maybe that's good, but then we're never getting to this again, right? So I think this has to be another one of those places where you do a U-turn. But... I mean, we can do that, I guess, but that, I think that's too fast, right? Oh no, I see. It waited for this thing, okay. There's a lot of buttons here. Uh, I mean, okay, so suppose we just did that. Is that any good? Doesn't look very good, because what's this guy gonna do, right? Hmm. That's actually kind of a puzzler. How do we make, we can't make use of any of this space back here, can we? Because if either, if this thing comes this way, then there'd be no way to actually leave. But if I do this, I can't, well, okay, I guess the, I see, maybe. I can't possibly, this is the T-junction problem that I've had a couple times. You can't have both ends of this go up, right? Only one direction can go in, which means, that both trains need to enter this junction from the same side. So I need a way to do a U-turn or to like to like have a train cross, turn around and come back. And presumably that should be number two because number one wants to go through the fast way, right? So it looks something like that. And we can't just send number one out because then there's this loop we were talking about isn't here. So I think we have to do like that. And I guess we just assume that two is going to, uh, the timing for all this is gonna work out somehow. Oh, that seems bad. Okay, that didn't work. So maybe it had to be in the other way, like where there's a loop here? Ideally, I should be figuring out why this is the case, but what if instead I just tried it? See? Ah! Oh, right. But now there's no loop over here. Uh... But this doesn't get one through first, does it? No. So this is perfect, except they're in the wrong order. 
So... The thing is, I tried the opposite of this. I guess I should have just flipped that. There you go. I tried the opposite of it, and it didn't work. And I guess that means there's some other thing that I'm not seeing that's a variation on either of these. That would work. Right, this this is obviously gonna fail. This is just gonna be staring at this the whole time while one dithers. Huh. Oh. What if I could put a loop back here after two like goes I don't have enough track for that. Oh, well, maybe I... I do. I said there was no way to use the track back here, but I was wrong. That's cool. Yeah, I need to remember that all of these tracks are two-way, right? You can go over them in both directions, unlike normal, safe train tracks. I don't know. Like, I guess trains... I mean, they drive on the left, right? In the U.S.? Or maybe they drive on the right. I don't even know. I thought trains were like the opposite of cars, but maybe they're not. Doesn't matter. Now I'm trying to remember. The last time I was at a train station when there were tracks going both ways. We were we were on the left, weren't we? I don't know, it was in a station. There were tracks on all sides. I didn't pay attention to what happened once we left. Uh... This loop is weird. Not loop, this button. Well, okay, we definitely have to have that. This is one. It kind of wants to get out of here quickly. So maybe we just assume this is correct. Oh, these are color-coded. This is the yellow one, and that's yellow. I see. This is the green one, and that's green. Huh. So, like, this seems the natural solution. I don't know if it's going to time out properly. Looks fine. So here we have to hit all three of them exactly once and then join up. We don't really care about the order. So we might as well do red first so we come out green side, which is closest to the exit. Uh, do I have enough tracks for that? I guess I do. Do not. Oh, wait, the exit's down here. Ah, but if I do that, I'll be here too soon. So in fact, we want to do it the other way. We want to go green first so red can get out. We have enough tracks. What we need is for this train to be a little slower. Are these both the same color? I think so. They're controlled by this one. This is red, red. What the? F and that's controlling this yellow. Got it. Okay. So, okay. In order to get out of here, we have to toggle this guy. Which is over here. We also have to toggle the yellow guy. And to do that, we have to have toggled the red guy. 
which we can't do without first toggling the green one. So it has to go green, then red, then yellow. And then everyone gets out, right? So, I don't know. Maybe it's something like this, green. Well, that's never gonna work. We're never gonna get out of here, right? So. This connects everything up, except for you, and also there's no way out. I mean, I could do this, but we're never gonna get there. Right, and we'll just be in a loop. Oh, what happened if you derail? I don't think we've done that before. Okay, it just gets sad. We, we really do have to do green first. There's no other choice. Maybe we can come at it not from that direction, but I don't think so. Because if we go like that, then let's say come down here and come back there. Uh, I don't know how we're supposed to get there. This is way too much track. Am I missing something? For some reason we don't have to take them in the order I said, red then, sorry, green then red then yellow. I don't think there is. Because to touch the red one, we have to touch the green one. Or else we'll just get stuck. We have to touch the yellow one, we also have to have touched the green one. Or to touch the red one, rather. Which means we have to have touched the green one. So it has to be green before either of these other two. I mean, maybe there's something like this. But if I do this, we're never leaving. We can't leave. Right? There's no way to reorganize this that lets us get out after turning left here. So you can't come in from this side. Can you come in from here? Uh, I mean, that would be possible if we had a layout like this. Seems hard to have red go like that and still have enough to connect up everything else. So I, don't, I don't think that works. So I think we have to come in from the top. And I tried this and I ran out of tracks. Can I do this? Not really. Well, okay, so here, okay, after coming in at this from the top, we must exit here. Yes, no question about that. And if from here we turn this way, there will be no way to exit the level ever. So we can't do that. We have to go this way. At which point, there's not much point in doing anything but this. Because we want to get to red anyway. And then we kind of have to go here. So I think this much is sort of forced. But I don't think I have enough tracks to do everything else I have to do. 
right? It's four more tracks just to get to here. Sorry, eight more. Four twice. And I haven't even touched this guy or set up the loop that would let me go out and turn around and go out this way. Oh, okay, I am wrong about the order you have to do these things in. I see. That's where I'm getting confused. The point is... that you don't have to have already opened red before you get the yellow. You would if there were only one train doing all the work, but there isn't, right? You can open... you can go here and just have red... have one wait while two gets the red switch, right? Then we get the green and out. Okay, yes, this was all very easy. Excuse me. I made a false assumption and, and couldn't reason my way out of it until I'd proved it was impossible. Do I have enough tracks to do this? No, not quite. So it seems like we want to enter this way then, right? Ah, and then loop around. I hit it too many times. <laughs> um... I see. So actually, we don't loop like that. We loop like that. So you have to leave from the red one, but only after going through green. So we have to go through green, takes us out through red, and then we do a loop. I have an idea, we'll move the tree. Okay. Well, I mean, we have time for another world, really. Okay, anything new here? This is yellow. That looks important. Aha! There's a button for this. So this is how we can actually do a T-junction that you enter from both sides of the T. You have a button that flips it around to be the other kind of T-junction. I can't go through here, right? What is this for? So the point is now one is gonna flip, two is gonna go through here first, sending itself this way, and then one will send it the other way and they'll sort themselves out. Somehow like this mechanic of swapping T's around is like the only thing I expected to find in a train puzzle game. Um, okay, I mean, I'm just going to kind of do the obvious thing and assume it works somehow. Because they've kind of put out the tracks for me. Ah, we're going to have to loop all the way back to flip this, aren't we? What's going to happen here? Do -do -do. Flip this so I can go out. This. Oh, no, we're not going to come back. This is just going to be facing the right way that will get out from the other side. Okay. Hmm. 
These two next to each other are kind of weird. Doesn't going over both of them just do the same thing as going over neither? What's the point? It's just half of a loop that they built for me or something? Yeah, this seems fine. Okay, so now we have blues and yellows. Oh, so exciting. Uh, so what if we had one go up this way? Does that make any sense? Only someone could get to here pretty quick, huh? Well, one could do it, I guess. They're sort of suggesting maybe that we build this loop. This doesn't look finished at all. Uh, is there a pause button on here? That's slow motion. Okay. So the problem with this, of course, is that this thing is pointing the wrong way completely. Okay. Blah. So we could do that. It doesn't seem especially helpful. Does it? So this would send one We could build a loop here, huh? Where it kind of just spins in circles waiting until someone gets here. Right? Watch. If we just go, it just goes ding, 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 like in a circle forever. And then when one finally gets switched, it goes the other way. Problem is when one gets switched. Well, when one gets switched, it'll be by a train going this way, and blue will either send it there, in which case two will get to the exit before one does, or it'll send it here with one switched, meaning it joins the loop in the wrong direction and we get a crash. Oh, wait, no, that's not the wrong direction. That's the right direction. Yeah, I mean, that's believable. That could work. So I assume this isn't going to work and we have to do, like, this for timing to work out. But let's just see what happens. Oh, you guys, I wanted this to go that way. Uh-huh, see, it got there a little too fast. And if we had done this, it works. Very cute. All right, well, I think that's enough train puzzles for me today. I don't, I don't know. This game seems okay, but I don't really feel an urge to keep playing it. So I think this is our one video on Railbound. Hope you all enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.